Well guys, it's a massive game for you. Is it fair to say possibly the biggest of your careers? Uh, no doubt. No doubt at all. Can I just first of all get your name? Uh, Joel. Joel, and you're a big Sydney FC fan as well? Massive. Tell me how big. Oh, well I was down there the first day, uh, foundation member of the Cove. Um, I remember the glory days with Dwight and, uh, and yeah, been there ever since. How does it feel to have pulled Melbourne Victory out of the hat in this FFA Cup tie? I think we were the only association team uh, that were really happy to draw an A-League team. Um, get our day in the sun, we get our day on the, on, on the big stage with the bright lights and really looking forward to it. And where will we see you tomorrow night, which part of the field? Uh, right wing, probably. So taking on who? It depends sort of how, they, how their lineup shakes out. It might be Barbarousas, um, might be Kafala. Not sure. We'll look forward to it. So let's move on to this gentleman here. Can I just get your name? Hey, I'm James. James, how did you feel about pulling Melbourne Victory out of the hat? Oh, I was delighted. It's really, it's a, it's a dream come true kind of to um, be able to test ourselves against probably one of the best teams in Australia, other than, other than Sydney FC, obviously. Have you had much support from fellow Sydney FC fans? Oh yeah, definitely. It's, um, we've been um, a bit of Facebook banter and stuff, so um, the mutual hate of Melbourne victory. So all the Sydney FC fans are definitely getting behind us. Well, let's hope you get a, a few out there at Leichhardt Oval. Andrew, how much are you looking forward to tonight? Obviously, preparation. You're trying to get prepared mentally and physically leading up as soon as we drew them. You know, you want to try and perform your best and give the fans a show and, yeah, stick it up Melbourne. So, <laughs> Bit of a revenge for the grand final, will it be for us? Yeah, definitely. And uh, it's just going to taste sweeter when we win. Tom, you're the captain. Uh, how proud of you uh, are you of the, the team and, and how well they've done to get this far? Yeah, absolutely. I think, uh, you know, not many people gave us a chance to actually reach the round of 32. So now we're here, we're certainly going to embrace it and uh, delighted with the guys, you know, very proud of, of them and, and, you know, going coming on this journey with them has been has been fantastic. What's been the reaction around the club in general? You mentioned to me just before that it seems to have brought the club together a bit more. Yeah, absolutely. I think there was a bit of disbelief initially with the draw. Um, now it's kind of sinking in. Uh, I think also, it, like I said, it's brought the club together in terms of uh, the old faces, some of the, the guys that actually got us into State League. And that's been really nice, you know, the community the fan base has got behind us um, so for us it's been a marquee draw hopefully we can do the club proud you mentioned the old faces even the Sydney FC chairman was a Balmain Tigers one one year he was Scott Barlow was actually one of our, our, our marquee players back in the day so it was great to, to get in contact with him and obviously you know for him to throw his support behind us uh, has been has been a really nice added spice to the contest and uh, again I hope we we can do the club and, and Sydney FC proud well just next to you we've got the man who uh, who's got the job of uh, deciphering Melbourne victory and how they're going to play. Just just let us know what your job is. Um, I'm an assistant coach for um, the boys. Um, I used to play with them two, two years ago until I um, absolutely destroyed my knee in a friendly game and uh, it was too hard for me to come back so I decided to take on the coaching role and help these boys and on that part with the head coach helping him out as much as I can. Have you had any contact with Arnie or anyone around the A-League just to get a few tips on how to come uh, up against? Not yet, not yet. I'm actually doing my course with um, Nicky Carl, so I might um, touch base with him and just get some last-minute um, touches and see how we go. See if he's got any inside information we can get out of him or something. So we'll go from there. Hopefully so. We've got Yanni who standing next to you. Yanni, I believe you're quite a heavy Sydney FC yeah. fan and travel around the, the country watching them. Yeah, I'm a big Cove uh, member and supporter. Been watching them for a couple of years, going to every game that we can. Some away games, went to see Melbourne against Sydney last December with a three all draw. So that was a big one to go at a full, full sold out Eddie Had Stadium. And it was crazy to see that. So hopefully we'll actually get ahead of them this time. What's it going to be like coming up against an A-League side for you? Oh, it's massive. I mean, watching them on TV, you sort of think, wow, these guys are really good. Now to be going head to head to them, it's a, it's a, it's a dream, yeah. And what have your Sydney FC Cove members been saying to you? They've actually, they've been like, good luck. You definitely need it. But, um, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's good to see a lot of them actually. They're going to be coming down, a few of them. They've been posting online that, you know, will be there to, to support Balmain just because it's a mutual hatred for Melbourne. So they just want to be there to support us as much as they can, especially because uh, no one really likes Melbourne that much. Good stuff. And uh, just finally, just tell me who, who you are standing next to Yanni. Uh, I'm Dave. I'm assistant coach of the 18s. More pretty much here to assist uh, 
our coaching staff and the boys um, more behind the scenes. So if you see me on the screen, happy days. If you don't, you know I'm in the back background doing the work. So. And how proud are you of the boys to have, have got to this stage and for their moment in, in the limelight? Uh, very proud, of, actually, to be part of it. Uh, it's probably my first year here, and um, the boys, they know what they've got to do, and I think they're ready to go. I was there on the weekend watching their game, uh, and they look ready to go and pumped up. So I think they'll give them a shake, and I wish them all the best. So, so for all the best for the game tonight, guys. We'll be behind you, certainly, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see some sort of a, an upset. Best of luck.